Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Ableton to Unreal with OSC. I'm going to create a Max for Life device that's going to send MIDI notes on messages with a pitch value and I'm going to create a blueprint in Unreal that's going to receive these notes and yeah, do something with it. So I'm just going to get rid of all the MIDI tracks and I'm going to create a new max MIDI effect by dragging a max MIDI effect onto a new MIDI track. And I'm just going to open the device. Next up, I'm going to get rid of all the objects. And we're going to get hit, uh, I'm going to hit Control Shift I, select all. Then go to open presentation, select it. Great. Now we are going to parse the MIDI with a MIDI parse object. If you want to create a new object, just press N and start writing. Out of the MIDI parse object comes a list with pitch and velocity. So I'm just going to unpack that list and I want to strip the velocity and only send the pitch number through when the velocity is higher than zero. And a great way to do that is by using the strip node object and connect it to our unpack. Now we get a number, that's just the pitch value and I want to send this number across via OSC. And to send OSC with Max, um, I'm just going to create a UDP send object. And I want to send it to this computer. So I'm going to select the local host IP address, which is 127.0.0.1 with a port number of 1312. Now we can't just send the node, we need to uh, prepend an address. So I'm just going to create a prepend object and type something like slash MIDI. Slash MIDI is now the address of the value that we are going to send with our UDP send object. And for good measure, I'm just going to create a number box by pressing I, connect the strip node to the number box and I'm going to create a bang by pressing B and we're going to connect the strip node to the bang as well. Select both these objects and add them to the presentation. Now in presentation mode I'm going to grab these objects and drag them into the visible area. Now we can freeze the device and save the device Name it something, uh, MIDI sender, save, cool. Now we can create a MIDI clip that's going to just send some MIDI notes like that. And in our Max for Life device, you can see the pitch of these notes are now numbers that are being sent through. We can close this for now and let's open up Unreal Engine. In Unreal, we're just going to create a new game, blank, with no starter content, and I'm going to name it Tut Ableton Send. Or something. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is add the plugin, add the OSC plugin. So uh, select built in, then search for OSC, 
open sound control, enable it, and let's restart the engine. Great. Now in our content browser, I am just going to add a new folder, call it Blueprints. And in this new folder, I'm going to create our new REC Blueprint. So I'm going to select Blueprint class, uh, select Actor, and let's name it REC Receiver. And I'm going to drag it into our level. And I'm going to open up the editor, select event graph, and let's get rid of all these figures. And next up, I'm going to copy a piece of code that's um, on the Unreal Engine website. So you can just go to Google and type Unreal OC. It's this link, OSC Plugin Overview. In this overview, there are a couple of OSC examples that we can just straight up copy and paste in our blueprint. So we want to have a look at this one, binding an event to all messages. Copy note graph. Actually, select, select a text. Ooh, this is... Going a bit weird, I'm going to do that again. Copy no graph, uh, copy the text, go to Unreal, and paste it. Now what this piece of code is going to do is it's going to create an OSC server that's going to listen to an IP address with a specific port, and when it receives a message, uh, you get, yeah, an event, a trigger. And when we received a message... We are going to parse the address, get our C message address, convert it to a string so we can print it. And it's going to print both the value and the address when it received a message. That's all this does, right? Uh, all we need to do to get it to work is... Um, we need to decide when we create this OSC server. And in this case, I want to create it on an event begin play. So as soon as we hit play, we create this server. And this server is going to listen to our local host, so 127.0.0.1, and with a port number of 1312, the same as our Max for Life device. And this should be good. So let's have a little test run. Remember that Ableton uh, is sending all these pitch values. And yeah, to start our server, all we need to do is hit play and it should print the values that we are sending with Ableton. Isn't that wonderful? All right, so let's say I want to do something with this value that we are getting from Ableton. In the BBSHOC receive blueprint, I could, for example, I'm just gonna get rid of the print. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the prints. I know it works, it works good. I'm just gonna add a cube in the components. And let's scale down the cube on all axes. So I hit the lock icon, scale it down a bit, and let's raise it up because it's going to fall down. Um, I'm just going to hit the simulate physics tab. Enable gravity, that should all be good. I'm just going to hit compile, save, and um, yeah, let's drag it into the middle a bit. And if I hit play, the cube is falling down. That's cool. I'm going to grab the player start and have it look at the middle. Hit play again, and there's our cube falling down. So 
own receive message, I basically want to do something with the cube, right? We could get rid of these objects as well because I'm only going to change the scale of the cube when we received a message. So I'm going to drag out the cube and maybe set relative scale 3D and I'm going to create a timeline and scale timeline should be good select play from start so it's going to play yeah this timeline when we received any kind of message at all and drag out the update set it to set relative scale and i'm going to inset set all the float values of a vector i'm gonna type in two vector so we only need to yeah fill one float value instead of three in the skill timeline i'm going to add a new float track name it value and i'm just going to create some points Yeah, like this. So it gets, it grows and then it scales down again. Let's set the length to one. And I'm just going to right click and set the key interpolation to user. Hit compile, hit save. And then we have a new value. And we are going to drive this value. We're going to use this value to drive our skill. I'm just going to multiply the value with another float. In this case, like, I don't know, five. Let's scale it up five times. And yeah, let's see if that worked. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, <laughs> it's bouncing. So I might want to like lower the BPM all the way down so there are not that many nodes. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> There's still a lot, but yeah, this is only to kind of demonstrate what you can do uh, with MIDI triggers. And this is just using the trigger. You can also... Yeah, attach the uh, attach the pitch integer to whatever you want, and there goes our cube. Bye, cube. Cool. All right, that's it. Have fun. Bye. -bye.